Healthy Choices, helping you live healthier. Sponsored by Intermountain Health. Welcome back, everyone. March is Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month. Intermountain Health physician Dr. Brett Aldridge joins me in the sponsored interview to provide new hope for those living with MS. Let's talk about what is multiple sclerosis. You know, the, the most common way I think about it is to kind of go back to, let's say we're back in fifth or sixth grade and we get to be the, the lucky hall monitor. Um, and so your job is to kind of walk around the hallways and if you see, say, a teacher or the principal, that's okay, they work there. But if you see, say, uh, a stranger, they're not supposed to be there. And so you would maybe kind of get them out or uh, flag the alarm, so to speak. And that's really what our immune system is, is supposed to do. It's kind of like our hall monitor. It's going to circulate in our bodies and look for good guys and bad guys. And so if your immune system runs into your heart or your lungs, uh, your brain, it should just wave hello and keep on cruising by. But if your immune system runs into, say, uh, bacteria or COVID virus, you know, it should sound the alarm and say, you don't belong here, and even attack those, those bad guys. And let's talk about some of the symptoms. Uh, what are some of the things, because it is different with each person and every case is unique. Tell us what some of the general uh, symptoms could be. Yeah, some of the most common symptoms are sensory changes like a numbness or a, a sensory loss or numbness and tingling. And it tends to start in one area, maybe like a foot or a knee, and it tends to spread over time. Um, it tends to evolve over maybe hours or days and tends not to go away. And typically you can see these types of symptoms between the ages of 20 and 50, but it can happen in older adults. Yeah, it can even happen in kids. It can happen in someone in their 60s or even older. But yeah, mostly more much more common in someone in their 30s. What are some of the risk factors? Um, you know, having a low vitamin D can be a risk factor. Um, if you have ancestry from like Northern Europe, that can be a risk factor as well, or Northern latitudes can be a risk factor. But doctor, there is hope out there. And at McKD, you specialize in MS cases. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, MS is very treatable nowadays. You know, historically, MS was one of the more common causes for neurological disability in young adults. But nowadays, very treatable. Um, and we're just not seeing that anymore. A lot of people are able to do their thing, live their life and do the things they want to do. So when you tell people that there is a diagnosis of MS, what types of treatments are available? There's a lot of treatments nowadays. There's um, in oral options like pills, there's shots, there's infusions, a big variety in terms of how we use them. Um, and again, nowadays there's some that are very effective. And so you don't have to suffer alone. And uniquely, if you are finding these symptoms, you can go to McKay Hospital where you can have the experts who really focus on this day in, day out. Absolutely. Tell us about technology and science moving forward and even more hope when it comes to quality of life. Yeah, there's lots of neat studies that are ongoing, new drugs that are in development, and some that we hope will find a better balance between um, effectiveness and safety. And so there's definitely um, a lot that's on the horizon as well. Because no current cure at this point, but again, there is treatment to manage and to live longer? Absolutely. Yep, yep, there's no cure at this point. That's definitely our, our end game or our goal and lots of research towards that end, um, but very treatable now. And is one of the uh, risk factors having uh, family history, anything like that? Family history can increase your risk a little bit, not a lot, but it, it is a little bit higher in someone who has, say, a mom or a dad or something like that. What is, what's important for patients to do when, once they are diagnosed? Um, exercise, make sure they have a treatment plan. What's the yeah, course of action? Yeah, I try to take a comprehensive approach and attack it every way we can, and so that would involve yeah, a, a diet plan, exercise, uh, managing any other medical problems that might be going on, and of course, a medication for the MS. Okay, for more information, where can they go? Um, you can definitely go to, to Intermountain's website as well as the National MS Society. Um, there's a lot of good, helpful information there as well. All right, Intermountain Healthcare is the place that you want to go. And of course, McKay D Hospital specializing there with a specialty clinic. That's thank right. you so much, Doctor. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. And thank you to Intermountain Health for that sponsored interview. Dan